Welcome to Sterimed, we are proud to introduce Hemolock. Hemolock catheter is intended to provide temporarily control or reduction of postpartum uterine bleeding when conservative management is warranted. In this video, we'll look at the steps required for Hemolock catheter procedural insertion. The balloon can be placed transvaginally or transabdominally. Before placing the balloon, transvaginally determine the uterine volume with ultrasound or by direct visualization. Insert balloon portion of catheter into the uterus, making sure that the entire balloon is inserted past the cervical canal and internal OS. If an indwelling, urinary bladder Foley catheter is not already in place, then place one to collect and monitor urine. Output. Before placing the hemolock transabdominally determine the uterine volume by direct examination, remove the stopcock from the balloon and pass the balloon inflation port first through the cesarean insertion and then through the uterus and cervix. Have an assistant pull the shaft of the balloon through the vaginal canal until the base of the balloon touches the internal cervical OS. Close the insertion being careful to avoid puncturing the balloon and prepare for inflation. Reattach the stopcock. Have an assistant to fill the syringe alternatively. Attach the syringe on the nozzle of the stopcock, then inflate the balloon with desired volume and then close the nozzle. If desired you can apply traction to the balloon shaft. As you can see the balloon cover the entire uterus volume. The balloon may be removed sooner if the clinician determined the hemostatus have been achieved. Aspiration of the balloon may be done with small increments whilst monitoring the vital signs of the patient. To remove the balloon fully remove tension from the shaft. If vaginal packing is placed remove it. Monitor the patient for any sign of bleeding. Please refer to the instruction for use for full procedural instruction.